Hello and welcome. I'm Jeff Zarnett. I'm a lecturer at the University of Waterloo in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, uh, and this is ECE 252, Systems Programming and Concurrency. The course's undergraduate calendar description says processes and threads, system calls, concurrency, including semaphores, mutex, monitors, and barrier synchronization, user-level memory management, performance and correctness of concurrent systems, deadlock detection recovery, and file systems. And all of those things are topics that we will cover in this course. The course has one prerequisite, ECE 250 or its equivalent, a data structures and algorithms course. We therefore assume that you have some familiarity with programming and programming specifically in C++. Uh, we also assume that you have sufficient programming background. Uh, we will talk about C as a programming language in the upcoming lectures to highlight some things that you need to know, but if you don't feel confident in your programming skills, then this is something that you should work on as soon as possible, preferably at the beginning of the term when you have the most time to do so feel free to ask for recommendations about resources. Uh, the course lectures you've already found here on, uh, on YouTube. However, there will also be stuff in uh, Learn as well as Piazza for a discussion forum for the current term. The notes and slides uh, are in GitHub. You will find uh, links to all of those things in the course syllabus as well as elsewhere. There is a recommended textbook for this course. Uh, it is Advanced Programming in the Unix Environment 3rd Edition. Uh, you might also find useful the Linux Programming Interface. Um, whether or not you need a textbook is a personal decision. Uh, you decide how much use you can get out of it. Uh, there will not be homework assignments or anything that refer to it, uh, but you can still find it to be useful. To tell you about the intended learning outcomes for this course, at the end of the course, students should be able to, one, invoke system calls from the view of an application programmer to access resources like files, inter-process communication systems, and the network. Two, analyze, design, implement, and debug concurrent C programs using concurrency control constructs, such as a mutex or a semaphore. And three, apply standard concurrency scenarios such as producer-consumer, readers-writers, dining philosophers, as well as deadlock and starvation. This course also includes labs, and at the end of the labs, the intended outcomes are one, interact with the Linux operating system through the command line interface and the C language API. Two, read the documentation of, understand, and interact with the available libraries, such as those for threading, files, and network operations. Three, use inter-process communications, such as shared memory and message queues. And four, identify, analyze, and solve concurrency and synchronization problems. Now, this course is offered online, and that makes it all entirely asynchronous. All of the lectures uh, are in uh, video form. All of the notes and slides and what have you are all available. If you want to keep pace with the course as is normal, the speed is about three hours per week of content, but you should feel free to go faster. There are assignments. Assignments will tell you uh, what uh, state you need to be in to complete them. So you need to have finished lecture X to complete assignment Y. Uh, that will be made clear. Uh, the course also has lab exercises and the lab details are specified in the lab manual. And there will be also a uh, final exam, which will be in a take home format. Uh, normally, I would tell you all about the syllabus and all of that, but that could change from term to term, so I would just suggest that you read it. Uh, I'll tell you just briefly about myself. Uh, I graduated from computer engineering at Waterloo under a previous curriculum, uh, and I got a master's degree and a PEng license. For seven years now, I have been teaching courses at the University of Waterloo, uh, and I've taught a wide variety of courses, including EC 150, 155, 254, 290, 356, and 459. Uh, and I also worked a little bit on the uh, mechatronics course MTE 241. Uh, and if you know the calendar descriptions of those courses, they're all software except for the law and ethics. So one of these things is not like the others. Uh, in addition to being a lecturer, I also work full-time in software engineering and industry, so I'm quite busy. Uh, for that reason, asynchronous communication uh, is the best way to get in touch with me. Uh, now, again, I want to refer you to the syllabus. You should definitely take a look at it because it will tell you about the grading scheme. It tells you about the labs, course policies, including what are the rules regarding lateness, collaboration, group work, plagiarism, uh, how to effectively use Piazza, uh, what about remarking, uh, and then various university policies uh, that are standard includes in every syllabus. Uh, so thank you very much, and uh, I will see you 
at the next video where we're going to introduce how to get set up for all of your uh, programming exercises. All right, until then.